Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This is a dual processor, 2.5 GHz PowerMac G5. I got this computer with the PowerMac Dual Core 2.5, which is only one processor. Um, so yeah, it was just kind of given to me. The owner didn't want it. The problem is, it is liquid cooled. And as we all know, Power Macs are notorious for having failing liquid coolers. Just look at that right there. That once was a liquid cooler for a Power Mac G5 Quad. And then I had to rip it out because it failed. So that Power Mac G5 Quad is now the 2.5 GHz dual core Power Mac G5 that I featured in my video. Now thankfully it hasn't really leaked anywhere. There is this curious little spot there of corrosion. But I've already checked and it has not leaked. However, like I said, these things are junk. They suck at cooling. You know, you can get anywhere from about 15 to 17 degrees uh, cooler idle temps when you convert to air cooling, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to disarm this ticking time bomb. But in order to do that, you need a donor system, and that's where this computer comes in. This is the same kind of computer that I reviewed last year on my channel. It's that awful video. This is a dual 2 GHz air-cooled Power Mac G5. As far as I'm concerned, the dual 2 GHz and maybe, don't hold me to it, the dual 2.3 were air-cooled, but I know for sure the 2.5 and the 2.7 dual processor were liquid-cooled. So I've, as you can tell, I've already kind of gotten into this system, gotten a feel for it. But we're going to film the whole process of ripping out the air cooler on this for both the heat sinks and converting this to air cooling because you can do it and it works better. So yeah, I don't think anyone's actually filmed this before, so this will be a lot of fun.
So just taking a minute to pause the video here and show you guys why it's really important to convert these things to air cooling if you intend to keep them because this thing has started corroding. I didn't even know, but as you can see here, it's corroded all along there. That's all leaking. And if you have a look at the uh, processor board here, we can see, um, if we zoom in here, there's some corrosion starting on the uh, processor card too. Thankfully we've picked up on it early so we should be able to fix this, but uh, yeah, I had no idea this was even leaking because the computer worked totally fine, but uh, yeah, so this is why exactly why you want to convert it to uh, air cooling. So I did finally manage to get this copper piping off, uh, or copper block. Unfortunately the processor went flying across the room and uh, I sustained some injuries. Um, I'm right now just trying to get the little thermal pad off as carefully as I can. Uh, yeah, so, and yeah, I have to go clean up now. As you can see when this card went flying across the room we damaged a, uh, a couple of capacitors. Um, this one here sustained some damage and same with that one I think there's like one here that sustained some damage so like I said I really don't know if this is going to work now as the thing literally got thrown across the room but the show will go on anyways and I guess we'll pray
Understand that you can almost never get it right the first time. So it took about 10 tries of reseeding the processor, uh, which I did not film unfortunately. So we're kind of going to cut sequence here to when the computer finally worked. But long story short, I had to swap the processors around a bunch of times. And I did find a better, more efficient way to put the screws in. So don't use the little paper towel and the screw thing that I was doing. It's not very good. But either way, after about 10 tries and a lot of effort, this is the end result. Now in order to completely finish this off, we had to run Apple Hardware Tester, I believe it's called AHT, and we had to run a bunch of tests to make sure that all the sensors and the fans and whatnot were kind of working in line with this new uh, setup. So I had to connect the pump externally and leave it running while doing this. And it didn't mention that it calibrated the fans, but it did manage to bring the fan speed up, I noticed. So I'm not too sure what's going on, but I'm not too worried about it because it seems to work. So. There's the visitor. Hello. Oh my goodness. There's a cat. 
And that's all there was to doing this conversion. This 2.5 gigahertz dual processor G5 is now officially on air cooling. As you can see right here, kind of hard to see I guess, but those are massive heat sinks pulled off of these 2 gigahertz CPU cards basically identical to the uh, 2.5 gigahertz cards and I'm sure they are just locked to a specific clock speed but either way this was uh, not the hardest conversion in the world but it was very difficult um, <laughs> and very very time consuming I had to replace the optical drive too that wasn't included in the video um, it was dead this Mac store hard drive is dead um, you know look at this it's not doing anything and it just makes this noise so this this drive is toast but that's fine because I do have something bigger and better planned for it right here I basically gave away what I'm gonna do to it um, there's also a video card coming for this computer as well I won't spoil that but uh, yeah either way we're on air cooling here and we're doing good and yeah, so this was a very successful conversion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I won't say stay tuned for more G5 content, but you never know.